All right, we good? We filming? Good? Does anybody have my scripts? Ah, thank you. Let's see here. You're too sensitive. Toughen up. Get a grip on life. Adapt to the way things are. Get with the program, accept that this is just how life works. It's best to just hide your sensitive self. That's the way to succeed in life, career, relationships. What the, who wrote this crap? Could it be society or hustle culture? Perhaps your career counselor? Or maybe those well-intended people who thought they were being helpful? Or maybe people who just didn't know the trait even existed at all. All right, let's see here. What you're experiencing is all just in your head. Maybe being stressed out all the time is just your base norm. You should just get used to it. What? This is awful. This is a load of bull. I mean, seriously, who says this stuff? Wait, what? Is this a prescription for depression meds? Are you kidding me? We talked for like two minutes. Is there anything on this script I can work with? All right, what is this last one? If you want to survive as a highly sensitive person, all you need is some self-care. Okay, you know, self-care is not a cure-all. It's not the only important thing here, and who decided surviving was the end goal anyway? You wrote this one, didn't you? All right, let's set things straight. Don't need that anymore. All you guys sit down, take some notes while you're at it. Listen up. High sensitivity is a normal genetic trait that exists in 15 to 20% of the population. It's not a disorder and there's nothing wrong with having it. It's an innate personality trait. Having this trait means that you have a sensitive nervous system, which translates to being more sensitive to, receptive to, and affected by all the things going on in your surrounding environment. All of our sensory experiences are brighter, louder, and more intense than someone who does not have a sensitive nervous system. It also means that we process this incoming information, including and especially social cues, to a greater depth in our minds. We think about our experiences more thoroughly and for longer periods of time. We even have more intense emotional experiences, and this is not just speculation. That's a scientific fact about the way our brains behave. Knowing all that, it's pretty darn clear as to why we're sensitive. We were born that way. It's how we're wired, and it's not something we should be told to change. It's actually a highly valuable skill. Our innate high sensitivity serves a very important survival purpose for the entire population, to be able to offer highly valuable and potentially life-saving insight to those around us. That's why about one in five people have this trait, to be able to pick up on the subtle but potentially important information coming from our environment and then be able to communicate that to others. So for those of you that have been telling us to just stop being so sensitive, maybe next time try just listening to us. We might have some very beneficial insight to share with you. That is again, what we were built to be able to do. The beliefs that other people have conditioned us to believe about our sensitivity are outdated and ill-informed. HSPs deserve to be here as much as non-HSPs do. We both serve our important roles in society. You don't have to harbor any of these unsupportive beliefs anymore. Believe it or not, you can choose what you want to believe about your potential for yourself and your life as an HSP. You can choose to believe that you can thrive without having to sacrifice any of your authentic self. There are plenty of HSPs out there who are thriving as their sensitive selves. You might not just be aware of all of them because it's not like we walk around with signs on our foreheads that say we're highly sensitive people. There are millions of highly sensitive people who are thriving and successful in this world who may not even know that they're highly sensitive people because since they're thriving, they may never have felt compelled to go into Google and type in why am I so overwhelmed all the time and therefore never learned about the trait within themselves or the fact that it exists at all. So that makes it seem like all HSPs are struggling, but it's just more likely that the ones who are struggling are the ones who learned about the trait because they were trying to understand themselves and learn how to thrive. What these HSPs who are thriving are instinctively doing, and what it took me 10 years to figure out, is that while self-care is an important piece of the thriving puzzle, there are two other areas that you need to nurture in life in order to thrive. And these other two are... Sorry, I may have bumped into your wind chimes outside. They're pretty loud. Oh, hi. Have you been here the whole time? Yeah. By the way, I have been here too, and my mind is just blown. Um, I'm wondering, is there gonna be any food at this meeting? Oh, I'm so glad you're both here. That's awesome. 
This is good. Okay, where was I? Right, the three areas. So there's self-care and there's also- Wait, so once we know what those three areas are, how do we know what we're supposed to do with that information? Yeah, and um, I've tried a lot of different things already and I'm pretty exhausted. How am I supposed to know this is gonna work for me? Well, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to climb out of survival mode for good as an HSP and begin to thrive, as well as the tools that you need to succeed and several reasons why you may not have had any luck in the past and prove to you that you do belong in this world, that it is possible for you to thrive without sacrificing your authentic self, and that you're not alone in the struggles and dreams that you have as a highly sensitive person. Sound good? I've never felt so seen and so understood before. Oh good, I'm so glad. All right, should we talk about the trait? Should we talk about the three areas? Ooh, how would I give you some really mind-blowing information that's gonna completely transform your entire perspective about life as an HSP? You know what, actually, screw it. There's way too much really important information that I have to share with you. How about I create a free online presentation with everything that you need to know? You can just click the link below, enter your email address, and you'll get immediate access. And I'll even make sure to add a pause button to the video so that you can stop and take notes and process any mind-blowing epiphanies that you may have while watching the presentation. All right, I should probably go get ready and I'll meet you over there. You two, you guys better show up because this is definitely gonna change your lives like it did mine. And you should come too. Wink. Saying wink helps, right? I've never been good at winking. Can I do this eye? That's even worse. Are any of these good? Can we use any of these? No? As well as the tools you need to succeed and go over several reasons why you might have had any luck in the past. Maybe you could just stop telling us that, opinions, all of it. As opposed to then do with that information. Oh, oh, oh. how about we talk about <laughs> you're the highly sensitive person in this world? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs>